Hello folks, this is Time Games Lab again, and welcome back to Spaceballs Game Development, Part 3, Base Game Coding. So, in this tutorial, our objectives are to create a basic game in Game Studio, Game Maker Studio 1.4, and that includes character sprites, character movement, and the enemies. So inside Game Maker, I'm going to create a sprite for the player, I'm going to load the image that we did in the last tutorial, and I'm going to center the origin. And I'm doing the same for the thrusters. So the idea with the thruster is that I'm going to load two images, a set of sub images, and I'm gonna use the same origin. So let me just add the second image. Okay, oh, sorry, clicking the wrong button. So let's start again. So I'm gonna add the one with the fire, the one without the fire. Sorry, there you go. The one with the fire, the one without the fire. I'm gonna keep the original size, and that's it. And I have the origin at the same point, so when I rotate it, I will have uh, a precise rotation. So I'm just enable also precise collision checking for the player. I'm gonna do the next uh, sprite also. This is gonna be just the enemy or the mouse object. So I'm gonna do it pixel art, pretty quick, pretty quick. So there you go, center it, precise collision checking, and that's it. So let's start adding the objects. So the first object I'll have is the object layer. Oh, sorry, the object mouse. It's gonna be a solid, and that's it. So then we go to the object player. That's where the magic begins. So I'm gonna add the sprite to it. Also make it a solid. I'm gonna add a room. Let me edit the width, the height. Okay, sounds good. 540 by 540, add a little bit of bounces, add the object player, perfect. So let's start with the magic. Let's start creating my variables. So I'm gonna initialize all my variables here. And let's start with the rotation of the thruster. So the rotation of the thruster will depend on a few variables. First one is the direction that is going, so it's clockwise or counterclockwise, the speed, that's going to rotate the angle that I have, the initial angle, that's zero degrees, and if it's on or off. Then the charging of the thruster. So if the charging is, on, is true, that's when it's charging, when it's false, not charging. The charge, initial charge zero, maximum charge 20. I'm gonna add 0 0.5 per step when charging. So that's basically all my initial variables. Then on my step event, I'm gonna rotate the thruster. So basically the angle will be the initial angle plus the direction that's going to rotate, the speed that's going to rotate, and if it's on or off. So if it's off, it's not going to rotate anything. Then I'm gonna charge the power. So if the charge is on, I will add to the initial charge. So how I do that, I use the, the charge, I will clamp value, so it's the initial charge plus the additive value of the charge between the zero and the maximum charge that is 20. And if it's not charging anymore, that believe, means that uh, I probably release the mouse, so if there is any charge on my player, so it charges more than zero, that's when I have to release the power and to move the player around, so motion, add, rotate angle, plus 180, that's just to compensate for the angle of the image, and I'll add with this with the charge. And I'll add a little bit of friction, so the friction will work if I have absolute speed above zero, then the friction will have a certain value. So friction, let's put 0 0.01, sounds good, and if not, frequency equals zero. So to the draw event, uh, I'll start by drawing myself, so draw self, sorry. So let's draw the thruster. So this is going to be a sprite extension, so I'm going to use the thruster sprite. There we go. I'm going to do it at submitting image 0, x, and y, 1 scale, 1 scale, rotate angle plus 90 degrees, 
see white and one. That's this. I'm using the 90 degrees to compensate that my, since I drew it on the bottom of my cursor, I have to compensate for my angle. And now I'm going to do the press and release space. So that's when I, I'm going to start doing uh, moving the player. Now. So first thing first, so if the player presses the space, it will stop the press rotation. So I'll turn rotation on to zero. Then I'm going to start charging. So if I'll turn on the charge on uh, boolean. If I release the space, basically what I'll do is start the cross rotation again, and I have to change the direction of the rotation. So what I'll do is I'll just multiply my direction by minus one, and that solves it. And lastly, I'll just stop charging. So I have to charge on because false. Perfect. And let's try it. And oops, got an error. Basically, I have a variable that is not properly set. Typo. Let's take a look at it. Yes, rotation angle. Not. There you go. So let's try again. Run the game. And fingers crossed. Okay. So when I click, oh, there you go. So then presses space. Player is moving. It stops rotating. It starts charging. So I I release early, it stops charging early. Problem is that it's not bouncing anywhere and also it's going outside of screen. So let me add the bounce movement now. So that's fairly simple since we're using built-in uh, commands from Game Maker. So what I'll do is when I hit the, sol the bounce object, I'm gonna turn on bounce solid true. Also, let's play with the tracer now. So if Whenever I'm charging, I'm going to change my subscribe image. So all I have to do is change to one. That's my subscribe image that has the fire. And also let's contain the player within the boundaries of the room. So that's fairly simple. What I'll do here, I'll use my X value and my H speed. So let's say if my X value plus my horizontal speed plus half of my sprite width goes outside of the room on the right side or the same thing on the left side so it's less than zero I'll just switch around my horizontal speed so that way I keep the, the player from getting out of the room and then I'll do the same for the horizontal portion so that's Y speed plus vertical speed plus sprite height uh, more than the room, room, right, room height and same thing for the top so I'll just switch around my vertical speed also so there you go let's try it and see how it plays okay so exactly like same but now we can see that the thruster is charging and it's bouncing from the enemies or in this case just a, a bounce object and it's also bouncing from the edges of the screen so that's it for this tutorial thank you very much if you like the video please hit that like button if you want to subscribe to my channel please click on the subscribe button and if you want to be notified when i release more videos please click on the bell button thank you and see you next